Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched and Reviewed. Today we're going to take a trip way back into flashback land to find out what movie we're doing today. It came to me a long time ago in a box with another movie. So Life and Death of a Porno Gang came, but there's something else in the box. Should we see what it is? Cinema of Death! That's right ladies and gentlemen, Cinema of Death. Now this movie is a DVD with five short films on it, but I got this for one movie and one movie only, and that is Pig. You know Pig. Actually, you might not. Well, Pig is a short film from 1998 directed by Nico B. and Roz Williams. Roz Williams of the band Christian Death. And shortly after it was made, while it was in post-production, Roz Williams killed himself. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Um, I can't say I have very high expectations for it. I didn't know anything about it, other than that if you bought it individually, it costs like a hundred bucks. So we'll see if it's any good. So with that said, you guys ready to watch Pig? Can't wait, wait to watch Pig. Play. So this movie opens up with a guy packing a suitcase. Somebody's putting shit into it like cards in a book called Mr. Pig and Sonny 2. Oh, now there's a, a dead guy with the word pig written on his chest. Now this man is quietly walking down the steps with this briefcase, leaving that dead body up in that whatever room that is. So the guy gets into a car and drives out to the desert. Now it's in the desert and there's a guy in a black shirt and black pants with a white face walking. So it shows him walking from a distance, and all you can see is that he has this really white head. He's walking past a big bush. And just like a porno from the 70s, there's bushes all over the place. Anyway, he goes and sits down in front of a big pile of sticks, and... And someone's driving up to him. He gets into the car, and they drive off. It looks like the driver has a pig mask on. And the other guy who was walking around with the suitcase has bandage, white bandages all around his head. So that's why he's so white, because he's wrapped up in bandages. They drive out to a farmhouse and the pig pulls the guy with the bandages in by the wrists. He's got him tied up at the wrist with a string and he's pulling him in. Inside, the man is hung up to the ceiling. The pig man then takes the guy down some stairs and starts rummaging through the suitcase. He pulls out this big key in this weird book called Why God Permits Evil. The pig man then uncovers one of the bandaged man's eyes. Now there's a cookie tray with all these torture tools on it. The pig person has opened up the book after a quick glance at the book, it then shows the victim laying down on the ground. And he's got a funnel in his mouth. And now the funnel's being filled up with what looks like blood and he's coughing. The pig man scans through the book some more and then takes a needle and thread and puts it through the guy's dick. And now they're lifting it up by the string and just kind of like puppeting it around. Now they're sticking the needle, now they're threading the needle through his nipple and pulling on it. It's a close-up of his other nipple. Oh god, now the pig is sticking it through, stuck the needle through, and now is pulling that thread through it. Ah! And now it's going back down to his dick. And he threads the needle through the dick once more. So it connected his dick and his nips making a perfect triangle. Oh, now they're reading the book again. And then the pig man takes out what I feared was a razor blade. The hand is up by his nipple. Oh shit, and it does have a ra it has a razor blade. Not like a straight razor, but one of those little ones, you know, those little rectangular ones. The pig is sliding the razor blade up by his nipple and just sliding, slicing cuts into him and it's riding pig into his chest. 
And now the hand is roughly rubbing over it, like pulling the skin to make the blood rise to the cuts. Ow, now on the G, he's like pulling it, pulling it, the P. The I in the pig is an X, pretty deep looking X. Ouch, stretching out the G, pinching it all to make it, you know, say pig very clearly. Now he's up against a wall and his chest is bleeding and it's slowly fading to black. We then see the victim getting laced into a leather bondage mask. This movie is really weird. It then shows him tied to a chair. Oh God, and his dick has like a tube in it connected to a syringe. And there's this tube coming out of his dick. Now the tube was just pulled out. Now there's another tube being tied around his arm and he's hooked to the ceiling by his mask. His mask has a hook thing on it. Much like the girl from Where the Dead Go to Die. His arm is tied up and now they're taking the syringe and pumping something into his veins. Probably heroin. Maybe they were pumping heroin into his dick. The pig starts spraying blood out of the syringe all over the guy's back and then now the pig is stuffing a towel into the guy's mouth through the hole in the mask. Now there's a dead pig in a jar. It then shows the victim doing some sort of sign language and then we see him walking out of this big black thing and through the desert in the same shot that we saw earlier. So he walks off and then we see more crazy shit. This movie raises the question, who's the real pig? The one with the pig mask or the guy labeled pig? Oh, they're showing the torture tools again. And now one of them is squirting out blood. It's zooming up to this weird pair of scissors. And one of the tools is still squirting out blood. It then cuts to the naked body of this dead guy. It's zooming up to his dick. It's zooming up to his huge dick and now he's being wrapped up in plastic. After wrapping the body up in plastic, the person gets into the car and drives off, leaving the desert. It fades to black and... and that was it. So that was the notoriously expensive pig, which was pretty much just the murder of this guy and the torture of this man. It was really gross when the pig was threading his dick to his nipples. So, what do I give pig on a scale of one to five? Well, I'd have to give it a four. I really quite enjoyed it. It was cringeworthy and just really bizarre. Pig, definitely weird. Check it out if you like experimental films and male-on-male -male torture. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.